What's up, guys? Gary Gilgan here. Today is March 21st, 2018. Welcome back to the channel. Going to talk a little bit about cryptocurrencies, uh, what's going on in the news today. Uh, market cap down, or it's up from yesterday. So what we're sitting at... Uh, $347 billion up from $330 billion yesterday. Uh, market uh, volume though, volume down a little bit uh, when I saw earlier was uh, at $17 billion and now we're sitting at $16.4 billion. So money coming out. Uh, but Bitcoin, Bitcoin at right now, I mean, it's up... Uh, since yesterday's video, um, right now we're sitting at about 9,000 Ethereum's at 565. Ripple down 3.94% at point at 69 cents. Bitcoin Cash, $1,000. Litecoin still staying flat at $169. Cardano, 21 cents. EOS though still shining, still really, really shining at 11, 11, 11, 11 percent gain at six dollars. I mean, that's the that's uh, the biggest 24-hour gains at the time of this recording is EOS. Uh, something that you know, if you don't know about. It's a pretty good resource. I'm sure most of you guys that would watch this would probably know about this resource, but some of you might not. Uh, on Coin Market Cap, if you go to trending and you go to gainers and losers, it'll pull up what are the top trending, what are the most gain, the biggest gains, and the biggest losses for today. So it can really uh, help you determine, hey, what are some new coins that are being released? What are some that are getting pumped, getting some attention right now? Help you do some research because a lot of them can be. You know, obscure coins that might be really far down the list. And uh, this is a good way to find those types of coins, help you do some research. Uh, at the all time high, though, still, Bitcoin still 55% down from its all time high. Ethereum still down 60%, 81% for Ripple, 76% for Bitcoin Cash, 54% for Litecoin, 83% for Cardano. 62% for EOS, 72%. Man, I'll tell you what, EOS is just moving up the charts too. Moving up the charts. Number three in 24-hour volume. Yeah, Tether doesn't count. But man, uh, a lot of good stuff. Again, and if you haven't, be sure to go and register your ERC20 wallet or your there's also a tutorial on let's see so my ether wallet my ether wallet dot com be sure it's the right ones very important so you don't get fished make sure that you may make sure that you're doing this the right way really take some time but uh my ether wallet and also uh exodus if you have any EOS coins that are the and the, the ERC20 address has not been registered with EOS, you want to make sure you want to, you're going to get that done. In fact, I'm going to make a video on how to do that because I just did it a couple of days ago, um, and it can be a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video right after this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So if you haven't uh, registered, because I'm telling EOS, my number one pick for 2018. I've been in EOS since day one. I think the most brilliant minds on the planet. I think it's the most powerful software that's ever been created in history. It's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what happens. That's for sure. And I think that they they've always been uh, ahead of their timelines. Just uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But again, uh, uh, I'll, I'll keep saying this in every video until, it's, until I don't, for my buddy Pete Lowry out there, uh, this is instant money, instant profit right here. Because at least in the top 10, I mean, the top 10, I've thoroughly researched the top 10 coins and I cannot see them, uh, any of those going to zero. 
And I could certainly see them testing their all-time highs, these numbers right here. So this is instant profit for you, instant profit. Check it out. Uh, Bitcoin, going to do a little bit of charting for you. Uh, man, we really are trying. We really are trying. And it's really impressive to watch this, to be in this market, and to, uh, just to see the ship about to capsize. And uh, people jumping off. I'm sure if you've, you've, you've probably seen that, that video, I'm going to post a link to it, of the Titanic and people jumping off. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Oh, man. Um, but uh, we got to get, we got to give up above that 200 day average. We got to get above that guys. And I think we're going to, let's check out the hourly. Again, I mean, it's trying, certainly trying our very best. I mean, what is this at the 1300? I mean, every 24 hours, we're, we're popping. We're, try, we're popping. 18th. So oh, we just got to keep going. So tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your friends, tell your family. Got to get into crypto. You got to buy some Bitcoin, mom. Yeah, that's the best thing. Mass adoption. That's why I make these videos. That's why I'm in crypto because I see that this is the most powerful technology that's ever been created and I want to spread it to the masses. That's my crusade. That's what I wake up every day passionate about. Okay, is a mass adoption of a decentralized technology that is going to change everything. So if you want the price to go up, you got to tell people. You got to tell people about this. Okay, EOS, again, man, EOS is just the star boy right now. <sighs> really busting a move. I'm excited about EOS, that's for sure. Man, and that hourly chart just very bullish. I mean, we are just pumping, pumping along. This thing is EOS. Do your research, guys. Do your research. Ripple, okay. Ripple. Uh, stay. I was doing a little bit of studying on Ripple because I've been in Ripple for a little over a year now, and it, as you can see, it likes to run very um, predictable, distinct patterns. Um. And so it's all about timing. Are we, are we at the bottom of that pattern about to break up again? Because there's been some really good news. I mean, for the past year, I would say out of any cryptocurrency, when it comes to mass adoption on a large scale with banks and remittance companies, you know, partnering up and, and being open to using um, Ripple, I, I could, uh, I do, I see this is, is going to be, and like it or not, a lot of people don't like Ripple. Um, cause it's not decentralized or for whatever reason, that's, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's, uh, it's all about making money and buying more Bitcoin. So if you can make more money on ripple, I mean, why wouldn't you use that asset as a tool to build more Satoshi? Cause that's what the name of the game is get more Satoshi billions and billions and trillions of Satoshi. Cause once that dollar Satoshi flipping happens, that's the real flipping. That's the flipping that's going to change the entire planet. When the dollar crashes, okay, and the Satoshi rises, boom, everything changes. Because remember, this number right here, okay, 0 0.00007615, that means 7,615 Satoshi. Satoshi. Okay, there will come a day when it's one to one. One dollar is equal to one Satoshi and vice versa. When that day comes, woo wee, woo, you will be wishing you would have got into Ripple, EOS, Dogecoin. It doesn't matter what you got into. You're going to be wishing that you would have. So again, to my point earlier, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your grandma, tell everybody you got to buy some of that Bitcoin, grandma. Okay, Litecoin flat, but still above, you know, I mean, we are, we're, we have hit all time Satoshi highs, you know, uh, we're staying at highs. So if anything, you know, once, once you get to the top, you got to stay to the top. And as we saw with Bitcoin, Litecoin and all these coins, when they hit that top, they corrected. So the question is, is there a correction in the future for Litecoin? They had a few releases last month, or excuse me, this month even, or I should say over the past four weeks that, man, they were 
really awesome in theory, but lackluster in uh, volume, in price action. Not impressive. So those are a couple of my top picks. Um, if, if there's any coins you guys want me to chart out, I definitely wouldn't say I'm an expert chartist. Um, but my man, Ash, who just messaged right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can because those are private messages. I got to turn that off. Um, anyways, I'll check it out. I'll do some research. And I have a whole team. We'll do it behind. That's what we do. But in the news, what I wanted to cover, very interesting story. And again, why I love cryptocurrency, you know, just an incredible technology that is revolutionizing the planet in the area of finance. You know, for me, there's two ways that the elites, okay, let's just call them the elites, you know, um, there's two ways that those people have been able to manipulate and control the masses throughout time. And one is uh, information and two is money. Okay, you, if you can control those two things, you can control and manipulate large numbers of people. And uh, this, uh, the payment industry is about to be struck by lightning, as they say right here. Okay, it's hard to pinpoint precisely when banks started stopped innovating, but it has been a while since they brought any valuable innovation to their customers. Banks almost blew up the world economy a decade ago, yet most of them got bailed out. Why were they rescued with hundreds of billions of dollars of taxpayers' money? Because they were too big to fail and pose a systemic risk if they hit the dust. So what this article talks about is cryptocurrencies, um, you know, distributed um, decentralized ledgers, what they're doing is it's banking two point, I mean, it's, it's banking to the next level to an infinite level um, because the, the, the pros, the security, the speed, that's one thing that it talks about in here is it's still faster in America to send money or excuse me, to send a piece of mail across country than it is to send money. And in a, in a time where our world revolves around money, you would think that it would be at top priority to make sure that sending money was safe, secure, cheap, and fast. You would think that, wouldn't you? And so for me, the awesome thing is, is with cryptocurrency, what's happened is the free market, which values freedom, independence, liberty, okay, those values beat the, the elite, the bankers, the, whoever's running the show here making the rules, okay? The, the, the free market beat them to the game. And now it's just too dang late, too dang late because Pandora's box has been open. And once it's been open, you cannot put it back in. You can't put it back in. And so now we're seeing banks are actually slow to adopt. I mean, all last year we had JP Morgan Chase Bank, you know, the biggest bank on the planet okay, talking smack about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and now buying the dip right after that and now praising its virtues. And I thought I had it pulled up, but I wanted to expand on yesterday's story about, we'll pull up this, so about the Petro about the petro and the petrodollar, the Venezuelan oil-backed dollar. Uh, they are talking about now releasing a gold-backed cryptocurrency. So very, very interesting news coming out of Venezuela. Uh, very, will be interesting to see how this progresses. This is a very interesting story right here. Uh, Bitcoin returns above the $9,000 level, but the death cross is still at risk. So if we pull back up that Bitcoin chart, we've, um, bam, back to the daily. Okay, we see right here, I mean, it's the, that, that crossing. When the 200-day crosses above the 50-day moving averages, that's what's called the death cross. And that can symbol, that can uh, uh, create a lot of bearish momentum. Uh, I've been hearing from uh, this guy named Tone Vays. Uh, I've seen, I've been watching his stuff lately because he's a really good chartist, but man, he just seems like a, the most cynical guy I've ever heard in my entire life. 
But he says, and it could be true, you never know, because look at this volume. I don't know what all these American flags are all about, but the volume, our volume's coming down, and we can see here total market cap, total volume is falling down. Let's, let's refresh this just for, I mean, yeah, it's still falling. That's staying pretty flat, but that's falling for sure. And so uh, uh, all liquidity comes out of, I would, okay, 99% of liquidity, cash coming out, dollars coming out, comes out of Bitcoin. And so whew, we're not out of the woods yet, guys. We are not out of the woods yet. So you got to tell your mom, tell your dad, tell everybody you know, put it on the Facebook. But every, just buy a little bit. I was telling, I remember telling people uh, back in uh, 2016 when it was about $600, just buy one. Just buy one. What would it hurt to buy one? I mean, the, the, what would hurt? The worst case scenario is going to zero. Okay, the best case, it goes to a million. Okay, and that's the, that's the biggest problem. One of the biggest problems in America is that we, you've been programmed. You've been programmed by, it started at a very early age, you know, cartoons, television. That's why it's called programming. It's teaching you how to be poor because poor people are too busy to think outside the box or too busy to question the, the question, the status quo. So you're being programmed to be broke. Okay, the entire school system, I dropped out of school as soon as I got my driver's license, okay? So uh, for me, uh, unless you're going to be a doctor, a lawyer, or some sort of profession that absolutely requires it, that is a huge scheme, again, to keep you broke, okay? To keep the masses broke and easy to manipulate so that you can profit off of them. And I think that we have come to a point where we're moving out of that and we see more and more with blockchain technology, with cryptocurrency, with all of these new, innovative, disruptive technologies. We're seeing, we're seeing the truth through the veil. We're seeing now that the, the veil has been pulled over our eyes. And man, I'm going to leave you with this. Is, this is crazy news crazy news and i am not one bit surprised i'll bet i'll bet a dollar just like in i think it was uh changing places with eddie murphy when the two billionaire brothers bet dollars man i took that forever but a year from now you won't use facebook you won't use it this is it i bet this is it for them look at this look at this guy missing from facebook's crisis mark zuckerberg that's new york times Look at this baby face guy. I mean, uh, no, that's, the, that's the sign of the, a worst type of leader. That's not a real leader. Someone that when the, ship, when the ship hits the iceberg, they're the first one. Remember that guy from the Titanic? That, that really rich, pompous guy that pushed the women and children out of the way to get on the lifeboat? Okay, that's Mark Zuckerberg right now. <sighs> Dangerous stuff. Let's see what their stock's doing. Right now. Oh, it's everywhere. This is this is crazy. Up one percent. Down from what's a five day. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I stopped. I took Facebook off my phone. A couple of weeks ago, I feel so much better, so much more focused, so much more clear. I mean, look, I started making these videos again. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there. Don't get, don't get too excited. We are not out of the woods yet, guys. We have got some work to do. So spread this message. Oh, I, 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 you know what? I got to start giving some stuff away. I got to start giving some crypto away and stuff. So be sure to, be sure to subscribe this, like this video. I'm going to think about some ways I can give you guys some money. I had some stuff laying around. I'll give you guys stuff. I don't really care. Just, uh, yeah, stay safe. Stay ready for anything, guys. That's the biggest key to success in life. Be ready for anything financially, mentally, spiritually. Be ready, guys. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.